Hello everybody, Vicarious Viking here. Welcome back to Nuclear Throne. We are on update number 49 of the game, and this update adds some pretty cool stuff. Main features, you'll see Ultra Mutations. Uh, we're going to talk about these in a little more in a minute, but I will let you know that after you get to level 9, you can technically get one more level now. And once you get that level, you will get a special character specific mutation. Each character has at least one. A couple characters actually have two so far. Uh, they are brand new. Um, and I will show you those a little later on. I actually played a bit last night and I got one of these uh, character specific mutations for Crystal. Um, and I did a really cool loop. Um, a couple other things that were added. It says something terrifying in loop. I also found this terrifying thing. It's a new enemy that you will find in the sewers. Um, the video that I made last night with Crystal is not going to have any commentary and it's going to come after I do kind of basically 20 minutes of gameplay here and I'm going to try my best to loop here as well but I'm not that great at the game. I actually had to play for like four hours last night to get this loop. Um, Allison was sleeping behind me so so unfortunately there's going to be no commentary and I won't do a post commentary but it's a really good Crystal run. It's my first loop where I actually see the post loop boss and I actually make it to the sewers and see the new enemy that they just added and I actually get beyond there so if you want to check that out I encourage you to do it I also get you I'll show off the ultra mutation that I get with crystal as well which is pretty cool um, I won't tell you what it is but if you want to go see for yourself um, I encourage you to check it out a few other things um, that they've done with this update is uh, there's some balancing the weapons based on tiny grades excuse me, the weapons based on tiny grenades now have slightly different timing and frogs now drop more health and ammo. There's been some fixes, some that were much needed. Seeds now work as intended from seed.txt, um, but they need to be numbers only. Um, I did a video yesterday showing you how to um, get seeding to work. It still works the exact same way, except you can't put letters anymore. It can only be numbers. And I guess last week it didn't matter what you put in your seed.txt file. You always got the exact same uh, level layout. Uh, we won't be doing a seeded run this time. Uh, Toxic now actually heals frogs, and uh, they fixed a crash caused by a screen shake in the portal, and uh, weapons should no longer be unable to fire until swapped, or excuse me, yeah, weapons should no longer be unable to fire until swapped after traversing a portal, and they fixed a tip for horror that was too long to fit. Uh, there's been some tweaks to Big Bandit spawn and some changes to the way plants snare spawns, and um, that is basically it for updates. So... I'm pretty sure my plan was to go through all of the characters, and as soon as one dies, I'll move on to the next. Um, and my last episode was Fish and Crystal, so naturally we are on eyes. And like I did say, after this run, um, or a couple of runs, I'll probably do a couple, uh, depending on how good this one is, I guess. Um, I'll, I will then, right after this, I'll just tag on the Crystal loop that I did, and then you guys can see the well, at least one of the Ultra Mutations, and you get to see this new, uh, this new crazy enemy that you'll find in the... Um, in the in the sewers only after you loot we got a shotgun which is fine with me I am gonna come get a little bit extra ammo for it and we're gonna go down to the next level and I was so bound and determined to get to these loops because all of the new content is like like getting past level 9 and getting past like the loop so so yeah that's why this update video is coming a little late i could have made it last night but then i probably wouldn't have been able to show off any of the new content so i think this is the best way to do it also since they added the post loop boss which comes like right after you kill the throne um i've never killed it on camera and i i did last night even though even though there's no commentary we missed that chest which i actually really wanted to get we could try to open up the secret area but you know what i'm not gonna just because um it's it's good it's good to do it's great to do and it, it kind of makes the game a little quicker but um it um you know it just it, you you get you get a little bit less hp or you get a little bit less experience that way excuse me for all of the stumbling over my own voice it was just the whole trying to kill the bandit Thing. Uh, you gotta, you gotta sneak a little shot off. I don't use Eyes' active ability very much, but I do like it, but I just, um, don't use it a lot. I don't use a lot of them a lot, even though I like a lot of them. I, uh, I always use them a little bit sparingly. I'm thinking Bloodlust, uh, Scarier Face is quite good as well, but I think Bloodlust is gonna serve us better in this current situation. We're going down to the sewers, and, uh, we're doing alright. Let's go down here. Let's try to clear out a, a nice, safe haven for us. They just kind of chill out. I'm thinking down here. Let's blast this. There we go. We got a bloodlust frog. We got two of them. We're almost back up to full HP, which is quite nice. Now, we have a big green rat over here, and he's just going to, as long as he can see us, he's going to spawn other little green rats, and we need to take care of this guy before it just gets too out of hand, man. There he goes again. We've decided to just shoot him right through the wall. Hey, get away from me. He's, he's dead. 
That's crazy. They, he does this crazy charge attack, and if you, like, push him back with your shots when he's doing that, he just kind of goes flying. What do we got? We got a flame shotgun. We're going to replace our regular shotgun with that shotgun. Excuse me, with that shotgun, because it is obviously much better. And I don't know how... Oh, you think so, buddy. Here, have some of that. My shotgun's much better than yours. Uh, why did I feel like I wanted to go over here? We can't get to the secret area, and I don't want that machine gun. I still have a machine gun, which I'm probably looking to replace as soon as I can. I don't think there's anything left in this level. And I'm pretty much just wasting time at this point. So, let's go down. Let's go down to the scrapyard and kill ourselves some ravens. And, uh, and some assassins and anything else that really gets in my way, I would say. Okay, we'll just chill it right here and we should be alright. Flame shotgun for that guy. Lots of machine gun fire for everyone else. Okay. Alright, this is going alright. We got a lot of robo snipers. There's one there. He's dead. Okay. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, we got fucked up, son. Oh, this is all going so well, too. Okay, I need that. I need to get away from... There's a lot of flames out on there on this level. Like more than an unusually large amount. You know what? That's okay with me. Oh, whoa, that was very close. That, okay. Alright, that one might even explode in about two seconds. Get a little closer to that guy. There you go. There you go, sucker. Alright, so let's come up here. Ooh, that was, uh, was a little scary. We're back up to 5 HP. We're still not getting the greatest weapons. An assault slugger. Wait. The Gatling slugger is the one that you want. The uh, assault rifle. Better than the machine gun, I would say, by a little bit. They're both decent. They're both decent for, like, early game weapons. But I find almost every weapon is decent for an early game weapon, with the exception of the revolver, which is absolutely excellent. Of course, that was pure sarcasm. The revolver, it's not terrible, actually. Um, ooh, good choices here. Rabbit's paw is great, but laser brain is also really great. I'm going to go with rabbit paw, and it has been done. I would really like rhino skin, just because I always feel more comfortable with that. Like, you know, I'm getting tired and I get hit. Oh, you can get hit. I just totally did. Okay, there's too much craziness out there. It's kind of freaking me out. Here, you can die. Bloodlust, I think, is was definitely a good choice because and, and Rabbit's Paw. Rabbit's Paw is naturally always a good choice. Well, Bloodlust, I've seen proc a lot. Sometimes it doesn't proc very often. Oh shit! Oh, I could have maybe tried to eyes ability those things away from me, but it turns out I didn't need to. Our shells are maxed, which is fine and dandy. And we're going to fight Big Dog. Let's see. It's got to be almost the end. Oh, this guy, hiding in the corner. You can hide all you want. I'll hunt you down, though. I'll hunt you down, and I'll kill you. None of these are great. Shotgun fingers, I think, is at least going to synergize the best. Um, with uh, our flame shotgun, so we'll take it. And, uh, oh, he's not dead. He survived somehow. Let's, uh, big dog fight's coming up. What did I see down here? Oh, an assassin. Okay, we'll just, there we go. There's a heavy crossbow as well, which I'm going to use. I'm going to use it, and I'm going to fuck big dog right up with it. And anybody else that gets in the way of these gigantic bolts of death. Okay, we can... Oh, yeah, we can use this to our advantage. Oh, pretty sneaky. Okay, I don't know if we're even hitting them at this point. Okay, whoa, I didn't even see that assassin. Okay, he's getting down there. There's a lot of ammo over there. We'd love to get some of it, but it's not looking like that. It's going to be the case. ammo. he's dead, though. Oh, we got at least a little bit of... Oh, 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 look at this guy. What a guy, <laughs> hiding in the corner, thinking he can, like, hide out till I kill Big Dog and just sneak up and strike. Ah, these assassins are thinkers. All right, we might as well heavy crossbow that guy. Heavy crossbow, definitely decent. Um, I don't really take it with me very much because it, it takes, like, not too much ammo, actually. It's only two, isn't it? I'll check in a second. Okay, we gotta come this way. These super fast-moving crystal fighters kind of freak me out sometimes. Oh, flame shotgun, though. It's so good. It's not as good as the auto flame shotgun by any stretch of the imagination, but it's, it's almost as good. It's still excellent. Okay, you, you gotta die. Ooh, you got some bolts for that. Let's, let's try to... Bam. Was that, did they one-shot enough to take them out? Yeah, totally. Whoa. Whoa, this is freaky. This run's going really well. Maybe I'll get really lucky and we can loop on this run. Oh, jeez, the laser pistol. Is it, is it better? Is it better than the heavy crossbow? I feel like it probably is. I'm going to grab the heavy crossbow. I will probably leave this level with my laser pistol, though. Uh, I just want to check this out a little bit more. It does use two, and it does crazy. It does such good damage, though. But what's the... Uh, let's not go down that portal yet. Let's just come over this way. Make sure we didn't miss anything. We don't need that SMG. All right. 
Um, what am I checking? Oh, the reload. It's pretty slow. It's pretty darn slow, and I think that kind of that kind of makes it a little bit of a dangerous item, at least for me. Uh, so I, I'm a little bit more comfortable with this setup. If we get um, laser brain, I'll probably take it. Oh, bolt marrow probably would have synergized so good with it. Euphoria. I mean, I want to pick Throma, but I'm not really using the telekinesis at all, and. Uh, I find that because it pulls the enemies towards me, and I find that can screw me up sometimes. I'm not really sure what to go with. I find Euphoria really doesn't do a lot of amazing things for me. We could pick Bolt Marrow and hope that we get a like auto crossbow. That almost sounds like the best bet. We're gonna go ahead and do that. You guys might not agree with that decision making, but you know that's okay. You don't have to agree with everything that I do. Everybody plays games differently, man. And if one of these blasts is enough, fuck these guys up. Anyway, this is going really well so far. But uh, things things get a little bit nuts now that we're down into the frozen city. Okay, two uh two shotties and a laser crystal. Back up to max shells. And we're just gonna do this. One. All right, we're running real low on the um on the. Whoa, that was real close. Okay, this guy, you gotta go, buddy. I'm thinking the uh the yeti is what gets me the most here, and we're not seeing too much energy. We got a little bit. So good. Um, Alright. I just want to blow him up. Oh, I want to blow him up in front of all of those things. Alright. Okay. Oh shit, that's, that's bad. Okay, they're all dead, so it's it's much less bad. Okay, that's real scary though. This guy in his car? Real scary. But because we have shotgun fingers, okay. We took him out. We're pretty high up on our energy now. We didn't level, but we almost did. Uh we got a crossbow. And we have bolt marrow, so I'm thinking. We take that with us for now. Yeah, no way. This is this is a good this is a good choice, I would say. Damn. Damn. These guys are all dying. These dogs are sons of bitches. Yeah. Holy shit! This is a big situation we got going on here. All right, snow tank, snow tank, you gotta die, and you gotta die. I still want. Oh, I want that actually. We'll kill that. Oh, shit. Don't. I don't want to poke out too prematurely here. I want to come back up here. Yeah, I think I'm leaving the pistol behind because I have shotgun fingers and I have bolt marrow, which synergizes with the two weapons I have, and I kind of... Uh, I'm kind of stubborn that way, and I, I feel like if I don't pick weapons that synergize with the mutations that I picked to synergize with the weapons I had at the time, it's almost like a waste, you know what I mean? It's kind of like how I plan my builds. That was like a laser... Oh, look, we have laser brain. We also have second stomach. Oh, oh wait, we don't want laser brain now because we're not going to roll with the energy weapons. Although I find that's a little bit better than uh, than homing bolts. Both great though. Second stomach more HP from medkits. We're gonna be fighting um, little hunter coming down here, which can be a pretty deciding moment. In any case, let's hope that this goes well. And that's, this is how you do it. This is how you kill a little hunter. We did it. We killed a little hunter. We got. We're up to five HP, so we're gonna be okay. This yeti can't even get me because he's a stupid jackass. They can't fit through these, oh, yeah, see? How they can't fit through these one, like, hole openings, which is really, actually, really awesome. Oh, oh, that was a bad hit, actually. That was, I was slipping on ice, and, and because of that, I took a bit of a hit. Whoa, buddy. Let's just unload. Oh, look at all this crazy. I'm gonna need to put into this one. I want the HP. But that's okay, I don't need it. I don't need the HP. We have plenty, and they're, it's not like we have rush ground, so we don't need to... We don't need to rush. You need to die though. Oh, what's down here? What is down here? A dirty dog. You're a dead dirty robot dog. Level 7. Lots of ammo. Lots of ammo. We'll come back for those unless we get stupidly sucked into a portal, which I often do. Oh, shit. Very close. That was very close. This is a big area. Oh, shit. That was. I thought for sure that guy was going to smoke me and I was going to regret everything. All right, you're stuck here, aren't you? Damn, this level's gotta be, it's over. It's over, let's go ahead and grab a couple shells. I mean, a couple of bolts here. We're real good on our ammo though, for sure. And we have an energy hammer. Oh, I'm pretty sure the energy hammer is like really good. Um, I'm not the greatest with it because I haven't used it a whole lot, but I know that it's pretty good. But we're not gonna take it. I wish this crossbow was an auto crossbow, but it's not, but we're going down to the palace. We're at level seven. I gotta be on my A game, because I'm getting pretty darn close, and I would like to... That sucks. 
That sucks a lot. I can't even believe that spawn. Uh, also, I was wrong. We didn't actually even make it to the palace. That was a labs. Oh, that was so good. Okay, so what are we doing for time? 15 minutes? That was a 15 minute run. Really? It usually doesn't take me that long to get to the, um, the, the, the labs, I wouldn't say. Uh, maybe it's because I'm used to, uh, I'm always trying to get the secret now. But uh, anyway, we're gonna do a melting run right now. I really had a lot of hope for that run, so I'm a little sad that um, I just kind of got exploded out of nowhere, especially after doing what I would consider to be pretty darn good. I am gonna take Rhino Skin with melting because it's what I would consider a necessary mutation unless you're the best bullet dodger of all time, which I absolutely am not. So, so for me, very, very necessary. Alrighty, let's come up here. Okay, let's come down here. Oh, all right. and this melting run will be the last run, and then after that, um, it'll be like a no commentary. Um, crystal loop. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm not sure if maybe I'll put I'll upload that as a separate separate video, uh, like the whole run, and maybe the loop itself will be um, the loop, just like the loop portion of the run is what I will add at the end of this. I haven't decided yet, um, but you'll probably you'll you'll know if you're watching. You'll find out whatever I decided. Probably, I'll probably just tack the whole thing on. It'll make this like a full 50 minute video or something probably, but what do I care? Um, I don't. Okay. Why do I feel like, ah, the ammo, of course. Yes. All right. We did get another level. We also got a laser pistol, which is quite good. And rabbit paw is really good. Sledgehammer good, but the laser pistol obviously wins out. We should, since we are melting, we will try our best to uh, get to the secret area, which I think we might actually do now. Oh, we're gonna do what I think. We just need to kill this guy real quick. Uh, one more. We did it. Oh. Oh, we did it. We did it. Let's collect all of our beautiful radiations. Ah, get away from me. Look at all these maggots. Get out of here, you lousy maggots. All he is. Every last one he is. Here. You know what? You're all getting sludgy in the here. And you know what? You're getting corpse exploded as well. We have two sludge hammers. If we were steroids, that would make for an interesting run. At least for a while. Until two sludge hammers wasn't really powerful enough to do anything. Which certainly happens. Now then, what's better? The shotgun? Or the slugger. I'd say the slugger. They're both really good, though. All right, here we go. Secret area. All right, this is gonna be fun. I like the secret area. It's beautiful down there. It's gotta be said. Oh shit! I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done anything that I've done. Take that. Take some exploded corpses. I'm dead in two hits. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm still freaking out. We found some health. I must get it. It must be gotten by me. Oh, I got it. Oh, don't touch me. Okay, slugger for you, slugger for you. We're back up to 4 HP. Holy crap, that was very scary. Somehow we survived. There's an ID assault. That's the slugger. That's the beautiful slugger. Wow, is that an assault slugger, really? No, Gatling slugger. Five energy is not enough energy, and here's what's happening. Here's what's happening now. We're gonna end this level. We're gonna spawn the uh, the portal at the very least. Uh, I'm gonna try. And oh, 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 get away from me. Okay, we're gonna come up here. We're gonna enrage the IDPD and we're gonna run for our lives. Um, we didn't even get any energy for that. That's okay. We still have our slugger. We still have plutonium hunger and or impact wrists, both of which I would consider really good. But let's go with plutonium hunger. I think impact wrist is like particularly good with melting. All right, big dog fight coming up. If we can, you know, live long enough to, to see him, which we probably will. Oh shit, not with that kind of craziness though. Hey. Big dog's down here. Let's uh, let's run away. Let's get some energy. We did it. And a pop rifle, which um, which I might actually use. It. Uh, big dog. I'm not sure yet. We have so okay. Let's, and he's in a good spot actually. So we need to not miss those. It's kind of important. All right. Uh, HP is really good. HP is good, and we're just gonna. He's just. It looks like he can't even come up here. Actually, it looks like he's stuck. It looks like it's too narrow of a corridor. Watch me take damage here. Oh no. As long as we're extra careful, we won't take damage. Hey, don't, don't you friggin' 180 and come back at me. Okay, he's almost dead, though, for sure. We've given him quite a few bolt shots, and uh, bolts do quite a bit of damage. This run going quite well, I would say. Uh, what do we got? Is that a heavy crossbow? Um, well, I was thinking about taking it, but I guess I'm not going to now. And we are going down to the Crystal Cave, which is, which is nice. And was a great Nintendo game from, like, you know, 20-some-odd years ago. Or, no, that was Crystal Caverns. Um, I don't remember much about it. I just enjoyed it when I was a kid. It was, uh, you can take that, and you can take this. Alright, we got a chest up here, let's... Oh, okay, he's gonna... Whoa! Woohoo! 
That was really freaky. I gotta not um, play with fire like that, or in this case, play with lasers. We got a screwdriver. Means nothing. I, I'd love to get thrown butt, because I really like the thrown butt ability with uh, with melting. Um, let's come down here. Slugger, great for taking out these crystal spiders, actually. Like, really great, as you can see. Um, that looks like the end of the level to me. We're going down to the frozen city. It'd be nice to have a really good melting run. Uh, scare your face is so good. Um, second stomach is great, but with melting, I find it's a little... You get a little bit more... I wouldn't say diminished returns, but it's just a little less great. But scare your face is going to be fine with me. And uh, down, to the, uh, down to the frozen city. Okay, this dog is what's freaking me out. And now this city is what's freaking me out. And now not much is freaking me out. But a few things probably will. Oh, that bullet. That bullet freaked me out right after I said that. If it takes too long for something to freak out in this game. Um, oh shit. Okay. Alright, we got him. Now, we can just come down here, sneak around. Dog didn't even see it coming because you're stupid. Oh, I think so, do ya? Okay, you know what? We should probably, we should probably kill this snow tank as we don't really want it hanging out behind us. Bam, bam, bam. Boom. Oh, you got right close to my face, and it was terrifying. All right. That guy's dead. That guy, I missed him, but trust me, he is dead. An auto shotgun. Okay. Okay, slugger, great. Auto shotgun, probably a little better. Probably a little better. They're both they're both very useful. Oh, that was, that was shitty. That was shitty, and, uh, and I shouldn't have let that happen. Maybe it wouldn't have happened with the slugger, but in any case, going down with 2 HP, less of a you know, have it in position, but uh, Bloodlust, I'm thinking Bloodlust might be the good choice. Impact risk, still great. Okay, Bloodlust, now if you can just proc a few times right away, now, nothing, nothing coming at me. That's coming at me, there you go. That's exactly, okay, we got some HP down there. This Yeti, this, oh, we got the snow tanks. Whoa, okay, we're, we're okay now. We're okay, we're back up to 4 HP, which is much better than 2 for sure. We can sustain at least like, oh yeah, it's an auto shotgun. I was expecting it to do sluggery things. Okay. Auto shotty, this, this, the only problem with the auto shotgun, there's almost no problems with it, but with me, the only problem with the auto shotgun is I burn through ammo sometimes like nobody's business. You know what I want? I want things to get off my dick for a second. Oh, everybody back up. Everybody back up. It's Relax, everybody relax, I wanted to, oh shit, I want to open this thing up, which, because I want, okay, we did it, oh shit, there's, there's some commandos and stuff down there, uh, oh, oh, he touched me, why would he touch me, don't touch me there, I pee out of that, alright, max energy, good, commando bad, max energy, good, commando bad, commando, dead, dead commando, good, Ah, IDPD grenade's bad. Oh, this guy's sneaky, eh? Oh, he's dead now. Okay. Our health is very low. You can die. Good. You can also die. We need that thing to start glowing. We got... Oh, we got a big old health pack there. Yes. Yes. No. No, yet. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeti needs to die. He did die. Quite great. Oh, we did it. We kind of did it. We did it. Yes. Oh, that was perfect. Now then, um, Rush Crown or Crown of Explosions? I don't think Crown of Explosions actually synergizes with Melding's Corpse Explosion, but if you know for sure that it does or that it doesn't, actually let me know because I would I would love to. I'm pretty solid on my nuclear throne. Um, I would say more so than my Isaac, just maybe because I've been playing this game kind of well. It's been going through its development. Okay, Rush Crown. Here we go. We're going to be fighting Little Hunter. So far, this one is going. Pretty, pretty darn good, I would say. Oh, that officer of the law has me very scared. Oh, I didn't think I was close enough for that to hurt me. That is going to do it for this episode then. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like as it does help out quite a bit. And to see more Nuclear Throne, you can check out my channel and subscribe to be notified if I want to come out with new videos. You guys have a great day. My name's Vicarious Viking, and stay tuned for a very cool crystal loop that will show off some of the new content that's been added in this update. Have a great day.